Hey, John, Santa left you a couple of presents. Where? Did Gunner get them? No, they're right behind you. Oh, boy! What did I get? Uh, I don't know. It didn't poop on my floor, so I don't think it's a dog. That says snow sport. It's something for snow. Must be? A snow plow. Let's put it together. Yeah! Well, since your truck's here, come on, let's get started. Alright, let me pop the hood, just in case we have to open it up for some reason. And guess what? What? I'm going to use my brand new gift. So I'm going to put this thing on time lapse, they call it time warp, which is pretty cool. cool. And uh, we'll get started. Alright, let's do it. All right, guys, so here's what we got going on. They give you these plates. You got to slide this plate up into the front of the frame and work it back to the hole. Once it's worked back to the hole, then you take that little device that John has right there with a bolt in the fish hook. Yep, a fish hook. And you have to find the length to the, you have it all the way, you have it lined up with this one? Yes. Uh, and then you have to fish that little wire down through that hole once that wire comes through that hole, you pull that bolt in, and that bolt should look like this. I put all three of my nuts on because what's going to happen is we're going to have to lift this thing up. We'll take one of the nuts off, push it up, and then get that nut started. And then I'm just going to work the nut off from there. So I wanted to make sure that they couldn't pop up and fall inside. But there they are. They're all in place, all three of mine. How many are in Shut place up. for you, John? I have one plate in place, but I can't get the fish wire through the hole. What you have to do is you kind of have to measure the fish wire to the front. I did. Okay. So there's where we're at. Uh, we still have the time lapse going. So uh, you guys will see this in that time lapse as well. And uh, see, that's this is where we're at.
it is. Gunk, gunk! All right, tell them what we did. I don't know. We, uh, we did nothing. Rick fished the bolts through. Rick tightened up the nuts. Rick torqued everything to 110 pounds foot pressure. And then he put me on here and made me look good. All right, guys, so the hitch is now in place and torqued. It's ready for the next step. So we're going to move the Hero 7. second drill bit. We've attached the handles and now we're securing the rubber blade. Shouldn't say we, the master craftsman. And look, we do follow instructions. missing one thing. No. No, two things. Oh. You gonna put a sticker on it? I can, I gotta go in the house. Rick went ahead and put a receiver hitch 
on the front of the truck. With this pin out, the snow plow will swivel side to side based on the weight balance. You can put the pin in to lock it to the left or the right, and for travel, or just to push straight, put the pin in and it doesn't move. To raise and lower the snow plow, well, let me back up. After the interceptor was put in, we put the receiver bar up here, put the two handles on. This is three pieces, two aluminum, one hardened rubber, and two rubber end caps. So to get this to work, you lift this up, <coughs> drop it up. Rusty, you kind of ruined me every time I see a license plate like that. I think of you. Guys, go check out Rusty Glove Box. He's on YouTube as well. Great channel, a lot of car stuff. On the inside. Oh, I got my foot. And then the pressure put from the ground to your handle pushes it forward. back up it releases it so then to raise it up you just lift it up drop it in and you're good for travel okay well I guess we've passed quality control at least redneck style. <laughs> so we get the seal of approval. And, and I got a, at least one plow forward guarantee. It'll work at least once going forward.